What's up you freaking geniuses? So, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the least common multiple using the prime factorization method. Right? And this method is really useful when you're trying to find the least common multiple of larger numbers. All right, so I'm going to do a few examples. The first one I'm going to do with kind of smaller numbers, just so you get the gist of it, how it works. And then the other two examples I do, those are going to be with larger numbers. And what you're going to notice with this method is it's kind of like a three-step method. So let's start with this first example. So let's say I wanted to find the LCM of 12 and 18. Okay, the first step is going to be to find the prime factors of 12 and 18. Of 12 and 18. So 12, I can break that down into 2 and 6, right? Do I have any prime numbers? Yes. 2, so I'm going to circle it. 6 is composite, so I can keep breaking it down. So I can break it down into 2 times 3. Okay, do I have any prime numbers? Yes. 2 and 3 are both prime. There's nothing left to break down, so we're done. Now, 18. I can break 18 down into, I'll do 2 and 9. Okay, do I have any prime numbers? Yes, I have 2. Okay, 9 is composite, so I can keep breaking it down. I'll break it down into 3 times 3. 3 is prime. Okay, so both of these, I can circle those. There's nothing left to break down, so I'm done. Okay, so that's the first step. I think you can do that on your own, no problem. Now the second step is where things kind of change a little bit. Okay, so this is gonna be like your second step. Okay, so now that we've found our prime factors, right? Now we're gonna write these out. Okay, so I'm gonna start with 12. Okay, so I'm gonna say 12 is equal to two times two times three, right? 2 times 2 times 3. And directly underneath that, I'm going to put the prime factors for 18. Okay, so I'm going to say 18 is equal to 2 times 3 times 3. But here's the thing. I want to match up the numbers with one another. Okay, so again, for 18, I have 2, I have 3, and a 3. Okay, so I'm going to put a 2 here. I can't put a 3 here because I can't match it up with this 2 above. So I'm going to move it over one spot. So I'm going to put the 3 here, actually. Okay? But remember, we have two 3s, right? So there's nowhere else I can match up the second 3. So I'm just going to kind of put it out here by itself. Okay? So let me explain this one more time. So I have this 12, right? So here's my 12. And I'm going to list its prime factors. What are, what are its prime factors? 2, 2, and 3, right? 2, 2, and 3. And then I want to do the same thing for 18. But I want to match up numbers vertically with the same number, right? So this 2 right here, I can put it here. Or I could put it here. It doesn't really matter. The point is, it's going to be matched up with a 2, right? Okay, so I have a 2 here, and I have a 2 here. Okay, now, can I put a 3 here? No, because I have a 2 right above it. Right? So I can't mix numbers like that. I can't have a 2 here and a 3 here. So I can't put the 3 there. But I have a 3 here, so I can put one of the 3s here. Right? So I put the 3 there. But remember, I have another 3 also, which is this one that's sitting out here by itself. And since there's no number up here to match it up with, I'm just going to put it out here by itself. Okay, so I hope that made sense. All right. Now this is the third and final step, okay? This is your third step. All right, we're gonna combine these now. It's almost like a big addition problem, okay? And I'm gonna say the LCM, the least common multiple, is equal to, and now I'm gonna start bringing down stuff vertically, okay? So we have a two here, we have a two here, so I'm gonna put a two there, okay? But just a single two. I know I have two twos, right? But I'm only putting one two right there. Okay, now when there's a number by itself like this two, you're just going to bring it down by itself. Again, I have a duplicate here, right? I have two threes right here, but I'm only going to put one three. And then again, I have this times three by itself, so I'm just going to bring it down by itself. So basically, wherever there's a duplicate like this, just put a single one. And wherever there's a single one by itself, you just put it by itself. 
okay? And again, there was a duplicate here with the threes, but I only put one three. And then this last three was by itself, right? So I just brought it down by itself. Okay, so we have the least common multiple is equal to two times two times three times three. The least common multiple, and remember, this is of 12 and 18, right? So the least common multiple of 12 and 18 is equal to this. So what is this? So we have two times two, which is four, and then four times three is 12, and then 12 times three is 36, okay? So the least common multiple of 12 and 18 is 36. Now, 12 and 18, those are smaller numbers. So we could have actually just listed out the multiples and that might've been quicker, right? So for example, what are the multiples of 12? So some multiples would be 12, 24, 36, 48. Okay, and we could keep going. And what are some multiples of 18? So for 18, we have 18, we have 36, and we can actually stop there because we found a common multiple, right? 36 and 36, that's the least common multiple. So again, with n smaller numbers, right, like 12 and 18, it's normally a little quicker to just list them out, but with bigger numbers, this prime factorization method that we just did is gonna be way quicker. But again, I just wanted to show you how the method works with some smaller numbers, just so it's a little easier to understand. Okay, so now let's do a couple examples with some larger numbers. Okay, so let's say you were asked to find the LCM of 55 and 88. Okay, now listing multiples for these would be a lot more difficult, right? Because I can't even count by 88s in my head very easily. And you're gonna have to end up listing a bunch of them. So we're gonna use the prime factorization method. Okay, so again, what's the first step? We're just gonna find the prime factors of each of these. Okay, so if I have 55 and 88, how can I break these down? Okay, 55, well, that's a double number, right? So I can break that down into 11 and five. Okay, do I have any prime numbers? Well, both of these are prime numbers, right? Five and 11. Okay, so I'm done here. Now, 88, here's another double number, right? So I can break this down into 11 and eight. Do I have any prime numbers? Yes, 11. Eight is composite, so I can still break it down. I'll break it down into four and two, and two is a prime number. Can I break this down again? Yes, four can break down into two and two, right? Two times two. Then both of these are prime. Okay, there's nothing left to break down, so we found all our prime factors. Now we're gonna move on to the second step. Okay, and remember the second step is gonna be multiplying out these prime factors. And a little tip for when you're multiplying out these prime factors, Whichever number between these two has more prime factors, list that one first. So for example, how many prime factors do we have for 88? We have one, two, three, four. How many prime factors do we have for 55? One, two, okay? So I'm gonna list the prime factors for 88 first. So I'm gonna say 88 is equal to two times two times 2 times 11. Okay, and now the second one I'm gonna have is 55 is equal to, so I have five and 11. I can't match up five with anything here, but I can match up this 11 with this 11 right here, right? So I'm gonna put 11 right there. And then, like I said, I can't match up five with anything, so I'm just gonna stick it at the end by itself. Okay, so that was our second step. Now let's move on to our third step, which is combining these. So now we're gonna write LCM is equal to, then we're gonna start bringing stuff down. Okay, so all these twos that are by themselves, I'm gonna bring them all down. So two times two times two times, and then we have a duplicate here, right? 11 and 11, but I'm only gonna list one, right? I only put, 111 right there. 
And then we have this times five by itself. So that comes down by itself also, times five. Okay, so now we can simplify this. So this is gonna be the LCM of, remember, 55 and 88, right? 55 and 88 is equal to all this. So what is all this? So we have two times two, which is four, and then four times two is eight. 8 times 11 is 88, and then we have 88 times 5. Well, let's see, 88 times 5, 8 times 5 is 40, right? And then 5 times 8 is 40 again, plus 4 is 44. Okay, so 440. So the LCM of 55 and 88 is 440. Boom. Okay, so let's do one more example with some larger numbers. Okay, now let's say you wanted to find the least common multiple of 60 and 72. Okay, again, what's our first step? Okay, our first step is always going to be finding the prime factors of these two guys. Okay, so let's start with 60 and then we'll do 72. Okay, so 60. I can break this down into 6 and 10, right? Do I have any prime numbers? No, both of these are composite numbers, right? So I can break these down further. So 6, I can break that down into 2 times 3. And 10, I can break this down into 2 times 5. All right, now do I have any prime factors? Yes, all of these are prime factors, right? 2, 3, 2 again, and 5. Okay, so there's nothing left to break down, so I'm done here. All right, now let's move on to 72. 72, I can break down into 9 and 8, right? Do I have any prime numbers? No. All right, so 9, I can break that down into 3 times 3. And 8, I can break this down into 2 and 4. Okay, now do I have any prime numbers? Yes, I have 3 and 2. Now lastly, 4, I can break that down into 2 times 2. Okay, and both of these are prime. Okay, so there's nothing left to break down, so we're done. Now let's move on to our second step. All right, what's our second step? We're going to multiply out all of these prime factors for 60 and 72, right? Okay, so which one am I going to write down first? 60 or 72? Well, I want to write down whichever one has more prime factors. So 60 has 1, 2, 3, 4 prime factors. 72 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so I'm going to write down 72 first. Okay, so I'm going to put 72 is equal to. Now I'm going to put these in numerical order. So that just means I'm going to list the factors from least to greatest. Okay, so I'm going to start with 2. How many 2s do I have? I have 1, 2, 3. Got three of them. So one, two, three. Okay, now let's move on to the threes. How many do I have? One, two. Okay, so one, two. Okay, now let's move on to 60. So I'm going to write 60 is equal to, and then we're going to have these twos right here, right? One, two. We got two of them. Can I put a two here? Yes, because I have a two right above it, right? Can I put a 2 here? Yes, because I also have a 2 right above it. Okay, so there's both of our 2s, right? This one and this one. All right, now let's move on to 3. Can I put a 3 here? No, right? Because I have a 2 right above it. Okay, what about here? Can I put a 3 here? Yes, because I have a 3 right here also. Okay, so I'll put times 3. Okay, so that takes care of our 3. Now, lastly, we have this 5. Can I put a 5 here? No there's a 2 right there, right? Can I put a 5 here? No, because there's a 3 right there. Okay, so that means I'm going to put the 5 out here by itself, since there's nothing else I can match it up with up here. Okay, now our third step is simply going to be combining these two. So I'm going to write the LCM is equal to all right, so what's the rule for when we have duplicate numbers, right? So we have a two here, we have a two here. So we're only gonna put a single two here, okay? Same thing here, we have a two here, we have a two here. 
but we're only going to put a single 2 there. Okay, here we have a single 2 by itself, so I'm going to bring it down by itself. Okay, we have another duplicate here, right? We have a 3 here, and we have a 3 here. So again, I'm only going to put a single 3 right there, okay? Now we have this 3 by itself, so we're going to bring it down by itself. And lastly, we have this 5 by itself, so we're going to bring it down by itself. Okay, so now we can simplify this. So now we have the least common multiple. Remember, this is of 60 and 72, right? So 60 and 72 is equal to this whole thing up here. Okay, so let's simplify some stuff. Let's simplify these twos first. So what do we have here? We have 2 times 2 times 2. What is that equal to? Well, 2 times 2 is 4, and then 4 times 2 is 8. Okay, and then we're going to multiply that, right, by this right here, 3 times 3, which is 9. And then we're going to multiply that, right, multiply that by this last 5 right here, okay, times 5. All right, this is a little easier to work with. So now we have 8 times 9 times 5. So now 8 times 9 is 72. And multiply that by 5. We'll do that down here. So then we have 2 times 5, which is 10. And then we have 5 times 7, which is 35. Plus 1 is 36. Okay, so 72 times 5, or 8 times 9 times 5, is equal to this down here, 360. Okay, so the least common multiple of 60 and 72 is equal to 360. Oh man, you made it. All right, good job. So proud of you. All right, so that's how you find the least common multiple of two numbers using the prime factorization method. And remember, this is more useful for larger numbers. So if you're trying to find the least common multiple of smaller numbers, it's normally easier to just list them out. But with these big numbers, the prime factorization method is normally the method you want to use. All right, guys, so I know it was a lot, especially if this is like the first time you've seen this, especially this second step, right, right here, listing out all the factors in the correct order and spacing them out correctly. So if that was kind of confusing, definitely rewatch the video a couple times and practice a couple problems. And I have confidence in you that you're going to get it, okay? Because what are you? You're a freaking genius. All right, guys, so I hope the video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still got questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to try and help you out. There's also a pre-algebra playlist attached at the end of the video. So if there's any other topics you need to check out, definitely check them out, and I'll see you there.